The Sistine Chapel is truly one of Italy's best-known sites and holds great religious, artistic, cultural, and tourist significance. Located in the Vatican, in the Apostolic Palace, it also serves as the Pope's official residence. We can trace its origins back to 1471, when Francesco della Rovore of Liguria became Pope Sixtus IV. He was a well-educated person and a keen art lover. Pope Sixtus IV oversaw restoring the Kappa Magna between 1477 and 1480, which had been destroyed, and whose foundations were used to build the forthcoming Sistine Chapel, which started to be laid in 1473. The works lasted until 1481, and the chapel was consecrated on August 15, 1483. Sixtus IV died the following year, and his nephew, Julius II, became the new pope. He continued the chapel's operations, and contributed with some changes and decorations. The Sistine Chapel's first architectural project was designed by Baccio Pontelli and supervised by Giovannino de Dolci. Pontelli was inspired by Solomon's Temple, mentioned in the Old Testament, having identical measurements extending 40.93 meters, 13.41 meters wide, and 20.7 meters high. Its external architecture is breathtakingly elegant, but its interior, with its exquisite ornamentation, is a genuine work of art. Pontelli and other great names took part in the chapel's construction project. These included some of the greatest geniuses in art history, such as Cosimo Rosselli, Pinturicchio, Sandro Botticelli, Raphael, and Michelangelo, who painted frescoes portraying religious themes. Michelangelo's paintings on the altar and ceiling of the chapel are definitely the site's most outstanding feature. Pope Julius II commissioned Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel. The artist was initially hesitant, as he considered himself more of a sculptor than a painter. Pieta, built in the Vatican, is one of his most famous sculptures. But the brilliant Michelangelo was persuaded and accepted the invitation. To make the ceiling frescoes depicting nine scenes from Genesis, the gifted Italian artist had to climb up a 16-meter high scaffolding, designed by himself on which he stood to paint on the ceiling above him. Some people say that he was physically able to stand on the scaffolding, but there are reports that he had to lie down to paint. Scaffolding made it easier, but nonetheless it was a tricky undertaking due to the location circumstances, and Michelangelo had no help with his work, instead doing it all by himself. The story goes that when he finished his daily paintings, Michelangelo suffered a great deal of pain in his body, and even developed sight problems, making it difficult for him to read. The work was executed on three existing arches, taking the skilled painter four years to complete his artistic production, covering the ceiling 680 square meters, starting in 1508 and finishing in 1512. This stunning work of art includes Adam's nativity scene, which is one of Michelangelo's best-known paintings. Equally important is the portrait of Noah's narrative, as well as many other representations. The wonderful colors, the depth of detail, and the elegant expressions of the subjects reveal Michelangelo's genius. Just over 20 years after finishing these paintings, the accomplished painter from Florence returned to the Sistine Chapel to embellish the altar wall, on which his famous fresco, The Last Judgment, is located, started in 1534 and finished in 1541. This remarkable painting, filled with so many details, depicts 391 bodies surrounded by the central figure of Christ. We also find representations of the Virgin Mary, angels who announced the Last Judgment by sounding their trumpets, and Saint Bartholomew, holding a knife in one hand and the skin of a somewhat distorted man, whose deformed face and body may be a representation of Michelangelo himself in the other. The chapel's wall on the left also contains iconic artistic motifs depicting Moses' life, Notable paintings include The Death of Moses by Lucas Signorelli, The Punishment of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram by Botticelli, Crossing the Red Sea, Descent from Mount Sinai by Cosimo Rosselli, and Moses' Journey into Egypt and the Circumcision of His Son by Pietro Perugino. To the right are works depicting the life of Jesus Christ, such as Botticelli's The Temptation of Christ, Pinturicchio's Baptism of Christ, Rosselli's Last Supper, Gerlandio's Vocation of the Apostles, and others. The paintings by these talented artists in the Sistine Chapel are still one of the site's most eye-catching elements. 
The conclaves, where a new pope is chosen, have been held in the Sistine Chapel since 1870. During the 1980s and 1990s, the frescoes were restored and cleaned. This process revived the painting's colors and sparked some controversy, with some welcoming it and others harshly criticizing it. The name Sistine Chapel is a tribute to Pope Sixtus IV, responsible for launching the project to build what would become such an important historical and artistic landmark. The Sistine Chapel is a veritable epitome of Renaissance culture and art, apart from being one of the most important historical sites in Italy. For all these reasons, this wonderful masterpiece fascinates countless visitors each day.